Today's video lesson focuses on equations with parentheses. This time we'll be using some integer coefficients. So what that means in this case today is you'll see some negatives within the problems. We're building on the same work we've been doing and it's gonna help us really solidify our understanding of how to solve equations. And as you watch, you're gonna to wanna to have paper and something to write with so that you can copy down the examples as you go. Our first problem says negative two times the quantity four x plus three gives us an answer of negative 22. So let's start by drawing our line down the center to split up our left and our right side of the equation. And now I know that everything that's inside these parentheses has to be multiplied by this negative two because that's using the distributive property. So I have negative two times four x and that gives me negative eight x plus negative two times three. And that is gonna give us a negative six. All of that is still equal to negative 22. Now I need to go ahead and get rid of that negative six so that we can isolate this variable and get our x all by itself. So to get rid of a negative six, I need to add six to both sides. So by adding it here, it leaves me with just a negative eight x on the left but then if I did it on the left, I've got to make sure I'm doing it on the right. Um, be careful with your integer rules here. You're welcome to use your calculator if it helps you. Negative 22 plus six is negative 16. Remember, we're moving closer to zero there. And then our final step is divide by how many x's we have. And in this case, we have negative eight x. So we divide by negative eight. And in doing so, that leaves us with x all by itself. But if we do it on the left, you know we've got to do it on the right. Negative 16 divided by negative eight is a positive two. All right, and then you can go back in and check your solution by substituting two in to your original equation. So I have four times two within my parentheses here. I'm just recopying this quick. I always start by rewriting my original equation and then we're gonna use the order of operations this time to simplify this left side and see if it equals negative 22. So starting in parentheses, I've got multiplication and addition. We know we have to multiply first. Four times two is eight. Eight plus three is 11. And then I'm just bringing down this negative two to multiply is my last step here. Negative two times 11 is negative 22. And what do you know? It equals the right-hand side, so our answer checks. X does equal two. We've just proved it, proven it as well. Let's take a look at another one. All right, this one is flip-flopped, where we have um, the distributive property piece on the right-hand side of our equal sign. Don't worry about that. The process will still be the same. All right, I do see that I have 4x minus 2 in parentheses, and to make that easier to work with, I'm going to turn that into adding a negative two because we know subtracting is the same as adding the opposite of that second number. All right, let's go ahead and distribute. We have negative five times four X and that's gonna give us negative 20 X and then I bring down my plus sign because I'm adding and then I have negative five times negative two and negative times a negative is a positive. So we get uh, plus 10 over there and on the left hand side, just drop down your 50, and don't forget that equal sign. We're gonna bring that down each time that we rewrite our new equation. All right, now I need to get rid of that plus 10 because I wanna get my x's just on one side by themselves. And so to do that, I need to do the opposite of adding 10, which we know now is subtracting 10. And that's gonna help me get my x's a little bit more by themselves. So I have negative 20x on the right-hand side, but don't forget to go do your minus 10 on the left side so that you're left with 40 equals negative 20 times x. There's our new equation. It's getting a little bit simpler as we go here. Final step, we have to divide by whatever we were multiplying our x by or divide by how many x's we have. Since we have negative 20 X, we're gonna divide by negative 20, leaving me with just X, but I've gotta do that on the left side. Don't forget to bring the negative with it. 40 divided by negative 20 is negative two. And again, I'm gonna, I could go in and check my answer, which I would recommend you always do, but I'm not gonna do that for today's video. 
All right, for our final example here, if you feel like you've got the hang of it, you can pause the video, work it out yourself, and then come back and check and see how you did. If you think you'd benefit from seeing it walked through step by step, then stick with me here and we'll do this one together. All right, we're going to go ahead and draw our line down the center, and then uh, I see that we need to use the distributive property over here to get rid of those parentheses. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take negative 3 times negative 2x, and we get a positive 6x, plus we have negative 3 times a positive 4, and that's negative 12. All of that will be set equal to negative 36. And so now I have 6x plus negative 12 equals negative 36. I need to get rid of that negative 12. And so the way to do that is to add 12 on both sides because what we do to the left, we must do to the right and bring down what's left. I have 6x equals um, a negative 24. And for that final step, divide by how many x's you had so that you can isolate that variable. And dividing by 6 on the left means I have to divide by 6 on the right so it stays balanced. And I'm left with an answer of x equals negative 4. Hopefully you're seeing the connections between this and what we've been doing over the last few days. Um, if you have questions, please reach out. Let me know. I'd be happy to go through some with you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.